Hello and welcome to another update video about Cardano. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Cardano chart and also the Bitcoin chart. And we take a look at Ergo as well, because I don't want to uh, just tell you nothing is happening on the Cardano chart. Um, Ergo is obviously one of the Cardano based projects. We have a quick look at the price chart of Ergo as well <clears throat> before we finish this video. Let's start with Bitcoin. Bitcoin did a bit of a run today. <clears throat> Looked really good, had a very positive effect on a lot of the cryptos as well, including Solana, um, not really on Bitcoin and uh, not really on Cardano. It had a bit of a positive effect on Cardano and we can take a look at that in a minute. But Cardano, again, when it broke out or tried to break out of the triangle, Bitcoin started to drop again. Now, I, you know, where's Bitcoin heading? It is really hard to say. It's too early to say at the moment. Um, we need to see what is happening exactly here now. Um, I made you aware in my previous video about a possible scenario of an ABC correction and that could be at play here. So it could be that we are now currently coming from up here in an A, that is the B, and then come down in a C somewhere down below or between 55 or 54 and 57K. That is one possibility, but for that scenario to play out, we would need to probably top here or even have more potential to come up actually all the way up to the all time high um, and then come down. Now that would be invalidated if we get above the all time high. Um, it would obviously be in play and really show valid if we drop below this previous low here. Yeah, because then you're making this C correction. So that low here is currently sitting at yeah 50. 9.5 yeah if we drop below that we could drop to the level that i just told you between 54 and 57k um this is between two important fibonacci retracement levels and would then be a perfect uh, price target for a c wave to the downside before we then continue our way up that would be actually a bullish scenario um that is bitcoin at the moment just a bit too early to say that is a critical moment here currently finding resistance here at this previous high at around 62.5k, 63k. So we found resistance there and we're currently dropping to that level of 62.5. So it's a bit of a range here. Um, and yeah, we, we need to see what is going to happen from here. Now let's go and take a look at Cardano. To be honest, again, not much happened. We just need to wait. Um, I mean, even, even Quant tried to break out today, but um, yeah, Cardano again, just sort of moving down a little bit. Um, we, we're not even making, and hope you can see that we're not even making higher lows anymore. Uh, I mean, not really, yeah, here, but overall it's it's sort of going down, isn't it? And there is not much more space in that triangle. There is not much more space. So yeah, it, I can't really tell you anything. It's, um, does it look bullish? Does it look bearish? Nothing of both. You don't really know, is this a bearish consolidation? Is it a bullish one? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. It's hard to say. That's why we just have to wait for that breakout. We need then a bit of volume. And I talked about all my price targets before and I won't repeat all of that. So really just pointing out that I'm going to continue to stake and I'm happy with Cardano. You know, it will have its moments. And we had months before where nothing happened. And then um, apparently people got hyped in. Everybody bought and everybody's now disappointed. Um, but that is just what Cardano is doing. You, you get these long phases where nothing is happening and then Cardano is starting to pump um, out of the blue really. And um, there is certainly potential to drop down further. Yeah, there is potential and I talked about it. And if we really drop, we could drop, as I said, first to again, $2.10, $2 then to the $2.03 to $2 range. Below that we've got 190 and below that we've got the 200 day moving average at around 180. And around 180 is also the golden pocket, the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level that we actually reached already for a moment, for a very brief moment on the 21st of October on the Kraken exchange apparently. Um, but yeah, we are still below the 20, moving, 20 day moving average. We're still below the 50 day moving average and the 20 is slightly going up as it seems and the 50 is coming down. And again, we just have to wait. And maybe we even have to wait until the 50 day moving average is coming down like that into the apex and will push the price down. That could be um, one possible scenario. But at the moment when we're moving sideways, nobody knows. So just need that patience to, to see what is going to happen on ADA BTC at least. 
we seem to be finding some support here at that um, support level that I put onto this chart. Uh, did we break it? Did we, are we finding support? It's a bit hard to say. Um, to be honest, from this point of view, it's looking like we actually dropped below and we're retesting it now as resistance and then could drop down further. That is how that looks. Um, but we just need to see. What, what we can certainly see is that downtrend is looking like it's slowing down. Yeah, we found, could have found a bottom here making a higher low now at the moment. That would be good. And from there on, we could then climb to the next level, which is at 3570 roughly. And from then on, we could hopefully approach that 20 day moving average on the ADA BTC chart, from which on we then um, could outperform Bitcoin. But at the moment, I can't see that. It's just too weak at the moment, that sign here. And again, needs more patience here as well. Um, and here on the ADA BTC daily, see if we can see anything exciting there. We had actually a buy signal back here on the 22nd, 23rd on the MACD which helped us in this move to the upside. Um, but yes, yeah, critical that we hold that level at 3,450 roughly or 3,425. It's a bit hard to say with all these uh, very, very tiny numbers. Certainly we were in the oversold range on the RSI and we're now getting back above the um, oversold range. So that is looking good. What I'd like to do is take a look at the weekly actually. And on the, on the weekly, you can see uh, it's, it's not looking good on the MACD. We had a sell signal here which was um, end of September. Since then, obviously it's dropped much further. We can see that downtrend slowing down certainly, but what I would need to see here on the MACD is that sort of lighter red color. Yeah, I would, I would need to see that. And um, when that happens, historically, that MACD very, very quickly moved above the zero line. You can see that very quickly. And especially here the last time in August, just really, really quickly that moved. And that just shows how quickly Cardano can really push to the upside. You know, these moves on the MACD on the weekly, they just, you know, sometimes you're here deep in the red and then just a couple of weeks, a few weeks later, you're already in the green. And especially here the last time you were deep in the red and just a couple of weeks later, you went into the green and that could happen again here, you know? So yeah, it just needs a bit of a patience here as well, but we can't be far away from a turnaround because the MACD is so much, I mean, it's never been on the weekly, it's never been that low, that histogram, that strong downtrend. It's, it's, you know, it's never really been that histogram. That difference, that distance between these two lines has never been that big. Okay, so interesting. Um, but the MACD line, actually the line itself was already at quite a high level. Um, so maybe that is why we had to come down. We obviously had a bit of a bearish divergence here on the weekly up here where we made higher highs on the weekly, but um, start to make lower highs on the MACD, which is why we probably also see that strong correction coming now. Now with Ergo, quite interesting. Um, I don't know who's invested. I have not bought any Ergo tokens um, yet. What we obviously see since that launch, um, this is basically on KuCoin. We have really gone up to nearly the $20 level. So it's pretty much, we were nearly there at $20. And since then, however, we've been dropping. Now, the reason I show you this currently here is that the downtrend seems to be slowing down. I think we haven't found the bottom yet, but it is a first heads up when you have a strong downtrend like that. Then you see, you can do that. And then you can do that. So you can see how the downtrend is slowing down. You can just see it. Mm -hmm. So that is a very, very important um, factor just to determine and to, to get a heads up that, okay, maybe we haven't found the bottom yet, but put it on your watch list. When we found the bottom here, it has certainly potential to go up from here, yeah? Um, at the moment, we haven't found it yet, but we are slowing down on that downtrend and um, you can, you can just see it just by losing that the momentum is just uh, changing on that downtrend. But um, unless we really find here a strong, some, some sort of buy signal or maybe a double bottom or a clear reversal signal, I would still remain a bit um, careful. We're still here on the one hour chart. The MACD is still deeply in the red. Um, also can't really see here 
any clear sign on the um, on the RSI. There might be a bit of a bullish divergence here, but I can't really clearly see it yet. Let's take a look on the four hour chart. Here on the four hour, it looks a bit like that we are forming a slight bullish divergence from where you are getting um, higher lows on the RSI, slightly higher lows. Now you can actually clearly see it. Let me just make that a bit clearer here. So actually from there to here, you can see it, how that momentum is shifting. So you're making lower, lower lows on the price, but you're making higher lows on the uh, RSI. And that is a bullish divergence. So we are we are getting close to the bottom, and I think I'm gonna I'm gonna take my um, certainly put it on the watch list. It is interesting. So what what we then wait here is something like a double bottom, or a maybe a bit of sideways consolidation, and then we can define a breakout point from which on we would then start to go to the upside. But to be honest, we can't really. Um, I would say we wouldn't. I mean, we can drop further. Of course, we can, but. Um, it is looking like the downtrend is slowing down. Okay, so just want to highlight that to you. So maybe you want to put that onto your watch list if you find Ergo interesting. I certainly find it interesting, and I think it was just a bit of overhyped, which then throughout that whole um, the timing was probably not great, um, or maybe it was great because it was obviously a bit hyped in August. You know, also before the Cardano, um, you know, the summit and everything. And since then, it's been dropping. Um, so yeah, we, we just need to see. You know, it could even be. You, you see that low here at nearly. You know, it's, it's pretty much eight dollars. Yeah, eight dollars. You see that low here. At the beginning. So that could be potentially an area where we could find a low and where we could build a bottom. So let's see. Let's 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 see what happens on the. Um, on that uh, candle and one thing I would like to point out here this particular candle here on the 20th of October see where that came down to that came down to exactly that level at eight dollars so hey let's take a look at uh, ergo going forward and let's see what happens when we get to eight dollars that would be um, a nice gem if we can find here a project with a lot of potential that has just formed the bottom yeah again micro cap more risk yeah these can move quickly and um, however it it hasn't really moved that much to be honest i mean it has moved but it has only dropped like from 20 to to well it has it probably has lost like 60 percent in yeah, pretty much in a month um well there is much there is a lot isn't it but then on the other hand you've got other cryptos even larger cap cryptos which do like a, a 3x in a month so yeah, but it's certainly worth having it on the watch list and um, especially if you appreciate and like the Cardano ecosystem. All right, hopefully you liked that update. If you did, please smash the like button. And if you want to follow me on this crypto journey, then please subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.